Hey everyone, Jayon's back here with another video for you guys, and today I'm bringing you another tier list. And today I will be ranking the best metalcore, post hardcore, and emo vocalists of all time. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment away any suggestions you may have. And before I get started, the categories are going to be elite, great, meh, bad, and if I just flat out don't know you, you're going in this category. Pretty simple. So we'll get started. And first off is Sean from Alisana. He does the clean vocals and he plays guitar. I'm vaguely familiar with him. I opened up for Alisana at the Whiskey A Go-Go when I was in Revenge. And his work with Asking and Xandria here there, Mr. Brooks. He sings the chorus. It was pretty good when I saw him at the Whiskey A Go-Go. I can't put him in the elite category. I just don't know his catalog too well. So he's going in great. That's pretty simple. Uh... Don't know this guy. He's going to go here. And this is Mike H. Not going to try to pronounce his last name. He's from the Devil's Prada. He does the screams. I'm going to put him in great, great lyricist. He gets the message across, but just really doesn't have that range to really put him in the elite category, in my opinion. These next three guys, I they're just going to be going into Dunno. Comment below who these guys are so I know who they are. Johnny Craig, I, again, I'm not super familiar with his catalog, but I did get a chance to see him at the Champ once, and he was really cool when I met him. He had a very soulful kind of, almost R&B kind of raspy kind of voice. He was really, really good from what I heard so far, so I'll just put him in great. This is Danny Warstop of Ask Zandra. He is absolutely incredible. He is a top, probably five, maybe in top three vocalists, vocal influence on me personally he can scream really high scream really low his mid-range is incredible he can clean sing very very well his voice of course has changed over the years he blew out a vocal cord i believe in detroit when he tore back in i think 2013 he's uh absolutely incredible live nowadays now that he's sobering up and i love almost every album with him actually i, I like every ask Alexander album with him so he's going into the elite category as well and don't oh yeah forget forget to mention his stuff with we are harlot is really really badass too go check that out too his vocals sound phenomenal there too and then this next guy right here is austin carlisle he was the lead vocalist screamer of a mice and men and attack attack i would put him in great just because like his screaming ability his range is really 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 incredible as a vocalist i mean i've tried to emulate his style i can't do it Angel Lepsy, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He plays drums and does the cleans for Other Oath. I know probably four or five Other Oath songs, but I absolutely love those songs. And I love his voice. I'm honestly going to put him into great. And then we're having our second Ask Andrew member. This is Ben Bruce. A lot of you might be surprised where he's going to go. I'm going to put him in the lead category. And... A lot of you are going like, well, how he doesn't sing much. Well, when he does sing, it sounds absolutely incredible. Go check out the acoustic rendition of Someone Somewhere by him. He absolutely kills it. It's absolute fire. And this is, I believe, his name is Shaley, I believe is. Uh, I probably screwed that up really badly. But he was in a Mice of Men at one point. He was a clean vocalist. And he started a project called Day Shell. He's going to go in the great. I just call him Chris Emotionalist. And that's what we know him mainly as. The lead vocalist of Motionless of White. And just because of the Creatures album. Which is one of my favorite albums of all time. A very influential album to me. He's going to go into the elite category. I just love how he can scream obnoxiously high. His mid-range is crazy. He can get real low. And he sounds real distinct. And he could also sing very, very well. All kinds of different ranges as well. And this is Johnny, I believe, Frank, formerly of Attack Attack. Unless Attack Attack is still together. Uh, but he did the clean vocals and all that. He was just okay. Craig Owens, he was in Chiodos and I believe Drugs. Yes, that was the name of his side project. Chiodos was more of an emo band. Very unique sound for that for that era for sure it's gonna honestly go into the elite category for me this is telly of the world alive i never really got into them but i don't think he's a horrible vocalist so he's just gonna go into meh and this is devin oliver of icy stars i think he's absolutely incredible so he's gonna go into the elite category for me i just think his cleans are absolutely one some of the best out there in metal core, poster core, electronic core, whatever you want to call it, icy stars. And okay, Spencer Charnis of Ice Nine Kills, he's the next guy, and he's gonna go into the elite category as well. I just 
again, like uh, a vocalist that can scream really high, scream low, has good mid range, really good mid range, and he can sing like a motherfucker. All kinds of different genres that they kind of blend together. And yeah, he's an incredible performer as well. Super nice guy. I've ran into him a bunch of freaking times. And then Kevin Quinn, ah, I'm going to put him in the great category. He is the lead vocalist of Sleep of Sirens, in case you don't know. Okay, Chris Fronzak of Attila. He's the next vocalist. I'm also going to put him in elite. Now, yes, he doesn't have the clean singing capability like some of these guys do. But he's an incredible, incredibly diverse screamer. Like, one of the most unique, probably the most unique screamer I've ever heard. He can do this gnarly rap scream lows just from the straights and depths of hell cool mid-range vocals that almost kind of sound like a hint of hair metal almost and these, these nasty highs okay so moving on here uh now this is the lead singer of my favorite band and this might surprise you a little bit but i'm only going to put him in great you know just doesn't really ha have that range to go real 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 high you know and whatnot but he's still a really good vocalist for what he has and his tone has really improved they just released a new song the other day called field of bones and his vocals just keep getting more and more and more and more clear he kicked the cigarettes he's doing a great job i saw him as andy black a few years ago he was absolutely phenomenal i seen black veil probably six or seven times and he gets better live every time i see him and then we have Oli Sykes, I believe, or is it Oli Skies? Correct me if I'm wrong. Of uh, Marine Horizon. Uh, I'm going to put him in Elite. He is just incredible as a lyricist and a, like, just the way the band started off. Just crazy, almost a deathcore, chaotic kind of sound. And then Sepultura comes on and then there's, like, this kind of, like, pretty singing and everything. There, and then more melodic kind of, Linkin Park kind of screams. And they've been doing that very well over the last maybe 10 years ish and then another elite entry is craig mabbit formerly of bless the fall and the current singer of escape to fate gotten to meet him a handful of times got to drink with him one time he was really cool but just basing off his vocal ability the ability to absolutely scream like a motherfucker and to sing like a motherfucker is why he's on this elite tier because he can sing the book i mean like where there's hard rock metal core pop punk i mean it's just pop rock i mean emo he can just do it all and this is jerry i believe mckinnon i believe is his name of a day to remember i'm gonna put him in great i think he has a cool singing voice just mo mostly kind of you know mid-range kind of singing voice not a crazy high singing voice but i think he does well with what he does he's an incredible songwriter and lyricist and everything. He can scream very well too. And then Dennis, former singer of Ask Me and Zandra, former singer of Make Me Famous. Uh, I think he's really, really great. You know, I think I think he covered like the stand up and scream and the reckless and relentless era stuff very well from Ask and Zandra. But the album, the black that they put out was just kind of mundane to me. And Vic Fuentes of Pierce Avell is the next man. He's going to be put into great. I'm getting more into Pierce Avell as I go on. My nephew is really into them and my sister's really into them. So I'm constantly hearing their music because of them. And I'm getting more into them. And they, they're, they're actually are a super unique band and crazy, crazy cool, good guitar players too. And I think he has really cool vocals. He's just going to go into great for now. Moving on to the next man is Ronnie Racky, a very controversial figure in the scene. He was the original lead singer of Escape to Fate. Dying is Your Latest Fashion is the album he sang on with Escape to Fate. And then after that, it's all been Craig Mabbitt. Everything he's done since then has been with Falling in Reverse and has just put out pretty much nothing but fire since then. Um, an absolutely incredible vocalist is in the sense of like absolute range. He's powerhouse singer he can scream pretty well he can rap pretty well he's a great performer live you know where he's going he's going into the lead and then mitch lucker fortunately a, a, another fellow that is not with us i had the pleasure of meeting him one time he's incredibly nice uh suicide silences mitch lucker uh you know just from what i've heard of suicide silence they were a great band i'm just not big on death core um, but he was definitely really, 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 really good at what he did. I'm just going to put him in great. 
And another disclosure, this is just my opinion. I really hope you don't take these opinions to heart. It's just what I think. And I encourage you guys to make your own list. And if you do make your own list, hey, let me know. And I'll check out your video as well. Or you can just send me the list and I'll check it out sometime. I would have no problem checking that out.